All right. Hey, I'm Roger EUC. I'm here with Brian Dillard. Both of us run the uh, Blitz. This is the Blitz display. It uh, sucks if there's daylight outside. Nice in the dark, but uh, we don't all ride in the dark all the time. So we're gonna take the internal display out of this thing, set it up external for use in the real world. Um, so this involves heating up the display uh, screen, the cover, with a uh, bit of hot air until it softens up the adhesive around it. The screen will actually warp and uh, tilt up, um, probably without any forcing or prying. If it does that, you're in luck. If it doesn't, then you got to start uh, finding a way in to pry around it after you get it heated up a bit. But if you are lucky, it's getting there. It's already starting to warp. Yeah. That's pretty fast. Uh, yeah, once you can get your fingers under there, then you've got access to the, to the display. I don't know, this adhesive separated, but we'll oh, nice, try eh? to carefully take things apart because we're gonna put this thing back together when we're done. So there's step one. Step two is to get this display um, out of here and then make it so it can be placed elsewhere. So that entails taking it like that so you have access to those four connectors. Then we'll heat up the soldering iron. We're going to desolder those four points, remove the wire from the housing, and then resolder them outside the thing. So should have turned the soldering iron on a bit ago, but anyway, now's the time I'll tell you a story from my youth. When I was a young man, I almost ready. Uh, well, let's see, where was I? Once I was a young man and- uh, On a summer Sunday afternoon. Yeah. Anyway, I was always a fan of eating liver and onions, which not many people like. And as a small boy, I was always left out at dinner time when I'm wanting my liver and onions. Anyway, now I'll solder. Mm -mm -mm. Come on, let go of that one there. There we go. One. This little paper is annoying me. Sorry, little paper. You had to go. One doesn't want, there we go. And then we put it back together. Hang on, let's, let's make these wires a little prettier before we do that. We gotta clean the solder off them. No, just to uh, make sure they're, they're not frayed at all. This red one got a little bit, uh, a little bit over, overdone. There we go. And there was still a little conformal coating on these, which makes it tough. So you gotta do the scrapey thing? Yeah. Well, I guess if you got it all to melt.
Are we going to be able to test the waterproof efficacy of this mod <laughs> with its rain today? <laughs> there, is a, <laughs> there is a naked display that you'll be riding around with. I think it won't be waterproof. It's okay. The conformal coating will do its job. And just like that, huh? So that should be good to go. And then you plug it into the wheel to make sure all is well. Then you take... Make sure you wire it in miles, not kilometers. I hooked it up to the miles spot. Oh, okay, good, good. Don't worry. And anyway, this is a little bit uh, out of sorts, but anyway, I like to stick this thing back together for future use. And then you could put it back in your wheel with the screws to get the uh, strength from your handles, unless you've uh, hacksawed your wheel like uh, Brian Dillard may have. Anyway, that's how to do the external display mod on your wheel. You can now get a... Uh, an extension cable, stick this on your wrist or do like I do and stick it on the front of the top of the headlight and you can see it even in uh, bright daylight. Catch me on the next one. Peace.